Hello and welcome back to The Roundup. I'm your host, Kat Vickers. Let's take a look at today's top stories. Michael Bisping's scheduled homecoming at UFC Fight Night in Manchester has been scrapped due to the Counts having suffered from complications relating to the detached retina injury sustained earlier this year. However, former UFC light heavyweight champion Lyoto Machida, who will be making his debut at middleweight, has agreed to replace the injured Brit and will now face Mark Minerz in the main event on October 26th at the Phones for You Arena. Machida was expected to face Tim Kennedy at UFC Fight for the Troops in November. However, Kennedy will be matched with a new opponent. Check out MMA Plus for all the details. After seven years with the world's number one MMA promotion, perennial middleweight contender Yusha Nakami has surprisingly been released from the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Having challenged Anderson Silva for the UFC Middleweight Championship in 2011, UFC President Dana White labeled Thunder as the best fighter to ever come out of Japan. With a 13-5 UFC record, the 32-year-old most recently had a three-fight win streak ended by Ronaldo Souza by a TKO in the first round. However, was still ranked as the division's number six contender prior to his release. Let us know your thoughts via Twitter at MMA Plus. Glory 10 served up a night of shocks as American Joe Schilling was sensationally crowned the new middleweight champion at the kickboxing promotion's 10th show at the Citizens Business Park Arena. The hometown fighter who scored a one-sided decision victory over late replacement Kengo Shimizu in the semi-finals would then meet number one ranked middleweight and favourite Artem Levin in the one night tournament final. The underdog Schilling set the pace early on, scoring a spectacular Superman punch to floor his opponent. Despite this, Levin would somehow manage to beat the Counts to survive the round. Dramatically, Levin would rally back, resulting in the judges scoring the bout a majority draw, with a sudden death fourth round having to take place. Schilling went on to score a controversial knockdown in the fourth to secure the win. Check out all the details at mmaplus.co.uk. In the latest chapter of this ongoing feud, UFC veterans Charles Sonnen and Vandalay Silva recently clashed during the Mr. Olympia event this past Saturday in Las Vegas. The Brazilian seemingly tracked down and confronted the American gangster during an autograph signing. However, before the confrontation could escalate, the two fighters were separated. The Van Fight team video provided a final statement from the axe murderer. Silver said, you are afraid of me and I will beat you up. I wanted to beat you up today, but I'm a professional and I don't fight in the street. Real men talk face to face. With me, the talk is straight up. I will punch your face. It will happen soon. The beating I will give you will be my gift to the people. Despite this turn of events, many fans have speculated this confrontation was manufactured in order to promote the future bout. Let us know your opinion at Twitter at MMA Plus. Okay, that's all for today. Join us again later on in the week. And of course, in the meantime, remember to follow us on Twitter at MMA Plus. Friend us on Facebook, MMA Plus UK. And follow us on Instagram as well at MMA Plus. I've been Kat Vickers. See you next time.